In this video, I'm going to show you how to turn your Commander Cody helmet into a Commander Fox helmet. Cody has some iconic armor, and luckily for us, Fox is pretty much a recolor, which makes our task much easier. Cody is a martial commander, which means he mainly specializes in battle strategy and operations. This is why he's normally wherever the Republic sets up base, rather than on the front lines like Rex. He has some accessories to make that role easier, like his antenna for better communications, and a floodlight for dim situations. The helmet fin has his classic orange paint, as well as the visor and his unique chin markings. Switching over to Fox, we see he has the same gear as Cody, although his antenna is black and his floodlight is white. The helmet fin is dark red, as well as the visor and his chin markings, and the cheek indents are painted red as well. Now that we know what we have to do, let's start by taking off all of the orange parts from Cody's helmet. I'm going to remove the antenna first, and then the 2x2 two two round tiles from both sides. Then take off the fin. Next, remove the chin pieces. I'm going to pop off the top of the helmet so I can start pulling apart the visor. Take the wedges off the sides towards the back, then remove the sides of the visor. and the front part just pulls up. There are two cheese slopes on the top of the helmet, so those have to come off too. We still have to do the chin and cheek indents, but I made a set of PDF instructions for everything, which you can access by the link in the description. I'm gonna show them quickly here too, so you can pause the video if you'd rather do that, but I made a parts list for everything you'll need for the conversion, and at the end of the video, I'll walk you through how to add them into a wanted list on BrickLink, so stay tuned. With everything built, we can begin to put it all together. I already attached the sides of the helmet with the cheek indents, and now I'm attaching both sides of the face. Then just snap in and press down the chin slope and attach the two bottom pieces. Next, we can start putting the visor together starting with the wedges at the back. Then put on the front of the visor so the sides can connect to the brackets. At this point you can reattach the top of the helmet, and I should mention that you need to change out the floodlight piece as well. Now we can put on the sides of the visor. Next, we can attach the sections of the fin. And add the 2x2 two two round tile to the left side of the helmet and put the antenna on the right. Finally, put the cheese slopes on to complete the back of the visor. And there you have it, a brand new way to display your clone trooper helmet as Commander Fox. I love how this transformation turned out. Regardless of how you feel about Fox as a character, I personally really like him, you can't deny that he has some of the coolest and most unique armor out there. I'm a sucker for dark red, and because of how similar their helmet gear is, I really wanted to give this a go, and I could not be more pleased with the result. LEGO did a great job on Cody's helmet, but it's pretty plain when you compare it to something like Fox's. The stark contrast on the chin area and the cheek indents make it so much more interesting visually. 
and I honestly like it a lot more than Cody's. They look great next to each other on display, and this definitely makes me want to pick up a few more helmets and see who else I can make. Like I mentioned earlier, I have instructions and a parts list if you want to do this conversion for yourself, and I'll walk you through all of that right now. When you click the link in the description, it will take you to a Google Drive folder where you can find the PDF instructions and the parts list. The instructions just show how to build all the dark red sections, so you can pull off the orange and swap it out. The other document is the XML parts list of everything you'll need that's not included in the set. You don't have to worry about trying to read any of it, just highlight and copy it. Next, head on over to Bricklink, go to the heart-shaped want tab, and click on upload. Once there, click on the upload XML format, and paste the text in the box. Then pick a name for the wanted list you're about to create. After that, click on proceed to verify items, and from here you can see everything you'll be adding to your wanted list. If you see something on here that you already have, you can click the box all the way to the right to exclude it. Then hit add to wanted list, and you're all set. From there, you can buy all the parts for the Fox conversion and build it for yourself. If you do end up building one, tag me on Instagram at catalyst.bricks, I'd love to see it. And there you have it, a Commander Fox helmet to accompany or replace your Commander Cody. Let me know what you think of this conversion, and be sure to tell me in the comments who you want me to do next. I'll be reading them all to see what the most popular candidate is. That's all that I have for you today, so leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and subscribe if you want to see me attempt some other clone helmets. I have a few more ideas that I want to try out. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.